Welcome back kids, it's day two of virtual VBS and this is our craft time. It's Lori and I, Linda here, and we are going to make a special, a special craft today. This is close to my heart. This is called Prayer Pockets and this is the, what it's supposed to look like. And um, you can see that there's a pocket in there and you can put your prayer requests in there. How I learned about this is I read a story about a lady who had um, her and her family had a prayer jar and they would and they had a, a notepad next to it and they would write prayers on the notepad for a neighbor that was sick or somebody that was lonely and they would write on it and they would put it in the jar and then when they had right before like their supper or at bedtime they would put the um, they would all sit together and pray for that person. They would pull a, a prayer out of the jar and, and even if it wasn't the prayer that they put in there, they would pray about for that person. And um, it was just a special time for their family. And I was hoping that your family could enjoy the same, the same fellowship and, and time of prayer for, their, for people in your neighborhood or people that you know. So we're gonna make a prayer pocket today. And in your kit today is um, a, a, a leather string for the tie at the top and um, a strip of paper that you can write prayer and praise pocket because we have praises too. We can be thankful for a lot of things. God gives us so much and the pocket itself um, that I have that I have from old calendars that I had and um, and I have hole punched four hole punches in there and you will find out just a little bit why those punches are in there. And then this is, and then you each have um, a, a piece of foam board. And on the back of the foam board, I have actually glued uh, to make it more firm. So if there's gets to be a lot of prayers in there, I have glued a piece of um, it's cardboard. Now it's important. Please do not bend that cardboard. It, Try to keep it as firm as possible. It'll keep your prayer pocket. It'll make it last a lot longer. If you bend it, it'll just make it all flimsy and, and yucky and it won't hang on your wall very well, okay? And then there are four brads, what we call brads. They're shiny gold brads in there. If Lori can get them all out, there we go, in your bag, okay? Now, the first thing you need to do for your prayer pocket is you need to take your glue stick and you need to glue all over the back of that and you can actually do that one this is a and you can you might have to wind that down a little bit glue the back of that um, and we're going to stick that on the bottom to the foam and line it up there we go. Oh, Lori does such a nice job doing that. And then you take your brads and you stick one in each corner. You stick it right through the foam and that will just make your pocket a little bit stronger too. And you take it and separate it. Don't hurt your fingernails because sometimes I hurt my fingernails on those. They kind of poke right up your fingernails. And it also, I love the gold, the touch of gold on them. It just makes it a little prettier. And see how when she's flipping that around, how the, the cardboard makes it nice and stiff. Otherwise, it'd be kind of a... A little floppy and you know some of the foam boards are a little um, a little thinner even than this one and it, it is it really needs that that support so really try not to bend this okay all right and see you got your your um, pocket there and then you can write on your your strip or have your mom's or dad or somebody write prayer and praise pocket so, and 
and remember our praises. We need to thank God every day for what he blesses us with. Can you think of something that God blessed you with today? Did he give you a really nice lunch? Or um, are you wearing nice clothes? Or maybe it was just a beautiful day. And is there a neighbor that you need to pray for that's maybe sick? Or somebody that's just going through a tough time? You can think about adding them to your prayer and praise pocket. Now you can glue that right on there where Lori is, such a nice job. And then you can take the tie and there's two holes punched at the top. That's kind of a thick piece right there. We gave Lori a tough job today, getting that through. Those leather pieces aren't always equal. Some are thinner and some are thicker. Needs to be a little bit bigger hole. There we go. Just pull it through far enough that you can tie it. You might have to have moms and dads help you tie it, tie that, because sometimes leather is a little harder to tie. That one's really hard because it's so thick. Anyway, there you can hang your prayer and praise pocket. You can hang it on a nail or um, you can hang it on, a, um, on your refrigerator, maybe a hook or whatever. Now, each family, several of you have um, several littles, littler kids um, that will get make a, several prayer pockets in your family. Um, but I only have enough of those pads for one family. But they do have magnets on the back that you can stick them to your refrigerator or whatever and, um, and make them handy. Just put a pencil by them that you can write a prayer or a praise and then tear off the sheet and put it in your prayer pocket. And, and sometimes you can do those at bedtime or, um, or at supper whenever you have fam or family devotion time, whenever you have your prayer time and use your prayer and praise pocket. And that's today's craft. Thank you kids, we'll see you again tomorrow.